How's it going, YouTube? Me, Jaime Rodriguez, here at SEMA 2009, bringing you live view and great interviews with some of the best airbrush artists in the industry. I'm here with one of the greats and a household name in airbrushing. A lot of us know him from TV, Mike Lavalle. He's here, we're having a great time. And we're going to talk to Mike Lavalle of some of his works of art he got out here. How's it going, Mike? How are you doing? Good. Having, having a good time? Yeah, I'm loving it. Great. Every year, you know, something different, but every time we come here, we always have a good time. It's Fantastic. We got a real nice refrigerator if you pan to the right here. That's a Hellboy theme. A lot of characters going on here. How many uh, how many days you got on this, Mike? Um, I work pretty fast, so I, I got five and a half days of work just in the artwork. That's, that's great. Not, not the base coat, and then there's the interior work. Too. Five days is quick, especially yeah. for this amount of detail. Yeah. But, you know, when you're inspired to do something like this, um, the work comes easy. It just flows right out Absolutely. of you. The know, passion's right. there. Exactly. The and motivation's it, and it, there. And it shows in the work when you're, when you're really into the piece that you're doing, you know, struggling to do it, you know. So. Fantastic. One of the things we were talking about earlier, guys, was transitioning your artwork. A, a lot of artists, artwork tend to look cut and paste. And what I mean by that is they'll get an image of reference and they'll draw exactly what they see without transitioning that image into the background and creating a style look. And that's something I like to project to a lot of you beginner artists is that when you create, try to create art, artwork with identity and style. And here Mike Lavalli does a great job of transitioning every one of these images into the other image via it be a wing or effect or a flame. And as you can see here, if we look, you can see how he transitioned the wing of this character into the uh, outfit of this character, the flames going to that character. And so on. Where else can we see some more transitioning, Mike? Well, if you just look at the fur collar from here, it kind of swoops around and leads your eye right down to, to this character here. His hair leads you down to this one. The fire leads you to this one, you know? And then it just it just, it just follows all the way through. It's non-stop all the way yeah. through. And, and here's, a, here's a really good one over here with the Hellboy character here where he's kneeling on the ground, punching the ground. The ground that he's kneeling on actually comes around and turns into the background of the troll cave. Oh, fantastic. See how it turns That's into the great. background of the troll cave right there? That smoke effect coming out of the helmet is killer. Yeah, and then there's this, actually this smoke from uh, Krause's character here that transitions to the smoke coming off the gun off of uh, over here. The smoke coming off the gun comes into here into the tooth fairies, which leads you up into the fire here, which wow. leads into the tooth fairies here. I don't know which part's my favorite side, but I'm, I'm liking this side big time. Really nice. I like putting the hot against the cold colors, you know, mm -hmm. hot against cool. Um, so you get a lot of lot of uh, passion into it, you know. This isn't the, the best lighting for this fridge. When this thing has a, a hot spotlight right on the oh, face, absolutely. It, the whole thing just glows. Oh, I bet, I bet. Especially the flames, the smoke effects, you yeah. name it. I also like the, I like the lighting on the, the chance of hair. Oh it's yeah, chamber. it's like a beam of light exactly. shining right on his on his head. Yeah. And you know, you, you make it make sense because the flames exactly are you know they're reflecting the light right on the head, mm -hmm. so your artwork is making sense. Right. And that's how you create a good piece of art. Is that true, right? That's the way I look at it. I mean, when I'm painting, good to me. if you got a flame coming from the right of a face, and therefore that flame is going to reflect some reflections on the right of that face. So guys like me and Mike are going to understand that truth and apply that to their artwork. So this is what art is all about. Again, Mike Lavelli, great work. Thanks for the interview. No problem. You're an inspiration to a lot of artists. A lot of young guys out there. But uh, yeah. great time. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you coming by and talking to us. Sounds good? Yep. See you on the next one. All right.